After three years of letdowns for the Globe, New York City is finally open for awards season. This was student station manager Amelia Lee's first trip to the Big Apple. I really wanted to go to the IBS awards and conference since I was a freshman. It was one of the points of interest of me coming to Goshen College was the IBS awards, going to New York City, going with the group. And then when it all got canceled because of COVID, I was kind of bummed. I mean, it wasn't the pinnacle of my experience of college by any means, but it was very special to get to go. And I think even more special because I was so tight with everyone already. In a similar situation was Dante Stanton, the sports director for the Globe. IBS 2023 was a really cool experience, especially for me. I'm a junior, um, but I came in during the COVID-19 pandemic, so um, everything was canceled. Everything was canceled. Um, so there was no in-person award ceremony for the past two years, and I've been nominated the past two years. Um, so missing out on that experience of going to New York City was definitely heartbreaking for the past couple of years. Though the trip was educational, the awards ceremony was certainly on everyone's mind, especially those that brought home the gold. I won Best Student Station Manager in the nation at the IBS Awards, and I think that meant so much to me because it's my first year as station manager. I'm a junior, which never happens. And to win that award and know that I worked so hard to get there and so hard to do the best I could in this leadership position. So winning that award, it, it was just so, so special. and. I didn't think I'd win it. I was up against these big schools, NYU, and their station manager, and then Little Goshen got that award. Came home with a couple of awards for the first time. Um, I've been nominated for a few awards over the years. Uh, the past two years, I haven't won anything, um, but I came home with two this year, and that was really special. Um, probably the most special one was I was named best uh, sports director for the radio side of things, which was really great. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to be the sports director for this station, and then of course a lot of that appreciation for that goes to my staff. A common theme in the stories of both these leaders was appreciation for the education and opportunities that allowed them to achieve so highly, especially that of Professor Jason Samuel. Jason, the station manager, the real one, had to write a letter of recommendation for me, and seeing his support in my life has just made my career go leaps and bounds further than it would have ever been, just having him there for me. When I, when I came to Goshen College, one of the first things that Jason Samuel, director of the radio, 91.1 The Globe, one of the first things he said to me was, when I was meeting him for the first time, he says, is, hopefully when we go to New York in March, which is when it always is, um, we can win a couple of awards, and uh, you can go up there, grab your award, come back, and I'll give you a big hug. And for three years, obviously that couldn't come true because of COVID. And the first thing he did when I came back after winning my first award was he gave me a great big hug. And it was an amazing feeling. And it was, it was a, a prophecy completed. And it was a really, really great moment. Something that I've been looking forward to for a long time. That hug meant a lot. And the work that Jason has put in uh, to help us over the last couple of years has meant a lot. The Globe ended up coming home with six awards, but that doesn't stop the focus from being on what more can be achieved next year. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Alyssa McDonald.